Hello everyone, this is Sukshika Rajkumar from Arduino Projects by R and today I am going to present you the fourth version of my dialog system. This dialog system includes two layers of security which includes the RFID access and the keypad. For this project you will be needing an Arduino Uno, a solderless breadboard half plus, breadboard power supply which can switch between 5 volts and 3.3 volts. This power rail will provide 5 volts and this power rail will provide 3.3 volts. I have used a single 5 channel relay module to control my solenoid door lock here. And uh, this solenoid door lock needs 12 volts to work. So I have connected it to my uh, voltage regulator here which uses my laptop adapter. It uses uh, 19 volts to provide 12 volts for my solenoid door lock here. Uh, you'll be needing an MFRC RFID reader, two RFID tags, this is a card tag and this is a key tag. Uh, you'll also be needing a 4x4 matrix keypad. You'll be needing a 16x2 LCD display model with I2C interface and you'll also be needing some jumper wires. Now let me explain you how this works. This is going to be the authorized tag and this is going to be the unauthorized tag. When I place the uh, when I place the authorized tag on the RFID reader, this uh, LCD display module will display that the tag is identified and it will ask you to enter the pin code. Uh, the pin code in this case will be 1, 2, 3 and 4 and when I type those numbers onto the keypad, it will be displayed as asterisk over here and it's going to uh, it's going to say that the access is granted and the relay module turns on which uh, switch turns on the solenoid door lock when solenoid door lock is turned on it will uh, change to its unlock position and when I place the unauthorized tag on the RFID reader it's going to say that the uh, tag is unidentified unidentified and it's not going to grant access. Now let me show you how this works. Okay now I'm going to place my tag. I'm going to enter my pin code. accepted and it turns on the relay module here the solenoid door lock is turned on and it's in unlock position it will be switched on for 10 seconds before it returns to its locked position Now let's try this with the unauthorized tag, tag unidentified and now I'm going to try it with the authorized tag and I'm going to enter the wrong pin code to see what happens. The solenoid door lock is not going to be turned on unless the authorized tag is placed and the correct pin is entered. To learn how I did this project, please visit my blog. The link can be found in the description below. Thanks for watching. Follow my blog and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest projects and tutorials. Don't forget to comment, like and share.